And we'll go to um, microphone number five. Chair, I would like to introduce Mrs. Caulfield. Welcome, Mrs. Caulfield. Good morning, Mr. O'Malley, board members and fellow shareholders. I wanted to personally thank Mr. O'Malley for making the time to meet with our family last year and listening to our experience with Commonwealth Bank. We appreciated your time, so again, thank you. Pleasure. This year, AFCA has received a record number of complaints, up around 30% from last year. I read your annual report and it's largely glowing about CBA's improvements and aspirations. When I think about the Royal Commission, the $700 million Austrac fine and the systemic failures in the APRA Prudential Report, this walk is a disconnect with how you talk in your annual report. The lived experience of families and customers does not always get through to the board, hence our personal family meeting with you, Mr O'Malley. In your annual report on page 33, Australians were scammed $3.1 billion in 2022. CBA has name-checked software you share with government. Recently, we paid a friend using our ANZ online banking. ANZ provided a warning. We do not match account names with account numbers. My question is, Will CBA share your software with other banks? <laughs> Thank you for your question, Mrs. Caulfield. Um, we're on a journey of improvement, and I would have to say that our performance today, prior, than prior to the Royal Commission and the Prudential Inquiry, has improved, as acknowledged by APRA, uh, releasing the capital overlay post the Prudential Inquiry by a reduction, we are the largest bank, and you mentioned through AFCA, there are substantial complaints. They're resolved predominantly on the spot, or if not within five days, but there are a tale of learnings that we are actually seeing at the board and requiring management to assess on both an ad hoc basis and a systemic basis. And that focus will absolutely continue, because what we have learned is that getting our engagements with customers right is the best way to serve customers, but it's also the best way to attract customers. So customer moments that matter, uh, items that we don't get right, is an area of incredible focus by the board and the committees, and we discuss it quite regularly. In relation to name check, I'll get Matt to, to just um, elaborate on how that is actually applied, but, in, but you mentioned scams and frauds, and, and Matt mentioned in his speech Name check, caller ID, the adjustments to crypto have seen an absolute reduction in the loss to, of reported scams and frauds from our customers in the past six months compared to the prior six months. We take that obligation to be effective, really important. There's so much that we can do as a bank, but there are also systems issues that need to be addressed more broadly. The source of scams and frauds, what telecommunication platform or social media platform they come over, the form that they make, how we can identify those quickly and put them into a national pool and have them stopped. Those conversations are conversations that we're absolutely having with government and regulators because we need an Australian system to address that. There are things the banks can do specifically, but there are things that we need to influence that are done on a systematic process. And that is an area we're absolutely deeply engaged in, in talking with both uh, regulators and government. But I'll ask Matt to comment more specifically. Thank you, and good morning, Mrs. Caulfield. As Paul uh, mentioned, this is a very important issue. And specifically to your question on, on name check, yes, we've offered to make it available to fina other financial institutions. And secondly, we're building what's known as a application programming interface, which will enable our businesses to also be able to call on it. 
I think it's extremely important that not only that we're protecting our customers, and of course we want to be a leader in that area, we're also very open and willing to work with other companies and financial institutions to improve the security of the overall system. Thanks very much.